It's March. It's here. Which means that's here too. Beatless March. We'll get into this, but um, today is March 1st in particular. And that means it is St. David's Day. Yeah, I just feel like the whole session was rushed. Like there was no backlighting or emotional direction. Nobody likes their driver's license photo, David. Okay, yeah, I was just hoping I would get some options. What is St. David's Day? He is the patron saint of Wales and is celebrated today. Uh, to mark the day, Welsh people all across the world wear one or both of Wales's national emblems, a daffodil and a leek. I didn't have either. I'm talking about though, and I wanted to make sure I got it out there. Happy St. David's Day. Um, not sure of any concerts or parades happening in this area. St. Patrick seems to have those wrapped up later this month, but um, in the meantime, it's St. David's Day. Fine. Stevie, would you care to join me? No. Fair enough. So you guys are just gonna stay behind and talk about me after I've left. You know, swap stories about how I don't compromise. Yeah, yeah. pretty much. Mm -hmm. 306 days to exit plan. Still pushing towards that. Yeah, let's uh, meatless march. Let me tell you about this. Uh, last meal last night was, um, that included meat, was uh, pasta and hot sausage. Mmm, enjoyed that. Also had a bag of beef jerky during the day. That was delightful as well. Um, this morning, packing. Um, packing was easy. I typically have like yogurt and granola, no big deal. <laughs> but yeah, for some reason I saw a bag of pepperoni and I was like, man, that'd be good to pack that. It's been in there a month, but yet I'm like, mmm, pepperoni. Let's just inhale pepperoni today. Yeah, day one of Meatless March. Way to go, Brent. Um, <laughs> cooking wise for dinner, I am helping out. I, I gotta help out. I kind of threw a wrench into the plans for the family. So um, either uh, tomorrow night or Thursday, I'm going to be doing this recipe, sweet potato black bean quesadillas. My friend Greg passed this along to me. Uh, tonight, it's just me and the kids because my wife has uh, school at U of D and um, I, uh, probably nuggets for them, but I'm gonna work on this uh, detox salad that um, my friend Allie passed along to me. And uh, I can actually package that up and spread it out as an emergency, whatever, over the next so many days, whether it's for a lunch or for a dinner for myself. But I'm doing it, I'm doing it. Meatless, March, even bacon. Um, typically on Tuesdays, I've, I've been doing podcast Tuesdays. And um, one of the ones I used to listen to a lot in the past was the Rich Roll podcast. And being Meatless March, this is a good time to go back and revisit him because he is all into that stuff. And uh, the one I was listening to today on the mill included, um, he was interviewing Rip Esselstyn. Uh, he's got the company Plant Strong. They've got all kinds of good healthy foods. Uh, Rip is a plant-based athlete before it was cool to be a plant-based athlete. And uh, I still have more than an hour to listen to, but I'll provide that link at brentevans.net. And again, that's the Rich Roll Podcast. Um, it's, not, it's not all plant stuff. Uh, he certainly veers off in all kinds of other good things, but um, he's, he's one that I have enjoyed in the past and for some reason got away from. I recently heard him on Tim Ferriss and uh, that kind of brought it back to me. And then Meatless, Meatless March came out. Here it is. Here it is, but I will enjoy the now. Don't you worry. <laughs> Quote of the day. There are certain lies I tell myself, and if, <laughs> and if you're any kind of friend, you will let me cling to those lies. David Rose, Shit's Creek. <laughs> okay, I have never heard someone say so many wrong things, one after the other, consecutively in a row. <sighs> Happy St. David's Day. Make good choices, make it a good day. I'll see you tomorrow.